the traditional Sanger-based sequencing, which is also called three prime terminator sequencing, is a chem method of chemical sequencing in which we use fluorescent bases um, to that have different chemical label labels and. Pretty much what that translates into is the four nucleotide bases, A, G, C, and G, each have a different color tag. So G may have a green tag, I'm sorry, A may have a green tag, C may have a blue tag. And those tags that we put, the colored tags that we put on those bases tell us what particular base is in the DNA sequence. Um, they're fluorescent tags, so we actually use a laser while we're sequencing the DNA to excite, which means that it puts energy into these tags. And um, once they're excited, they fluoresce, which means that they give out their own energy in a different wavelength. And that wavelength corresponds to a particular color. And the color that fluoresces tells us which base was incorporated into our DNA. And that's how we determine the order of bases in the DNA sequencing in traditional Sanger base sequencing. What we see on the screen is called an electropherogram or a chromatogram. And it's a line diagram that tell, gives us a different color that corresponds to each base. And it's something, one of the things that you will often see on the crime TV, like CSI or forensic files, you'll see the pretty colored diagrams. They're actually called electropherograms or chromatograms. And they tell us the order of bases in the DNA. The bases are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. 